Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. I said we were going to commit murder, so what? Just do it. <laughs> ah -ha! See, I told you I was going to do it. Um... Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Oh, did you just stab him in the crotch? <laughs> I think I stabbed him just above his crotch. I don't even think I'm that heartless. I just think, like, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, though. Yeah, you piss off, dickhead. I will end you. Haha! -ha! I kind of like how his buddy just kind of stands there and doesn't do a shit in the game. Yeah, they have improved the combat in later games. Like, I think the time they really kind of nailed it is in the one after this in Brotherhood. Because then they give you the option of, as soon as you've, like, counter-killed someone, you can go on, like, a massive execution streak and just kill everyone, like, in succession, one after the other, and it's so much fun. <laughs> You'll see that when we get to it, viewer. What All did right. that lock into? Was that an apple? Uh, no, that was like a skull with an assassin insignia. Hmm. And now we hear loads of Latin, of course. Okay, do we get a translation? Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean... Except the ability to use it's them properly. Operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. we mm. need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? <laughs> Jacopo? <laughs> Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even like notice. That. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Yeah! Well, we bloody stuck it to him, remember? Forever. In the neck. We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. <laughs> that is, he doesn't seem to even give a fuck! That is, yeah. he's dead. Yeah, he's like, uh, he was, was a bit of a twat anyway, I'm, still, I'm not really missing him. <laughs> Gentlemen, tomorrow, a new sun rises over Firenze. May the father of understanding die. Okay, so they're the father doing father something, but... You didn't say uh. what? Okay. Uh, whatever. At least there's an so assassin's what tomb with loads of treasure. Look Ooh, at hello. that statue. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. We have. And it gets us loads of money and a seal for the armor. And the sixth <laughs> throughout the game, as I mentioned before, and I'm gonna get them all. I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. And see, they're even nice enough to give us notice of them on the map. Yay! Right. Now we get to open the dead person's... Please don't be a zombie, please don't be a zombie, please don't be... Oh, you are not a zombie. This is good. Wow. But I do kind of want a silver thing, and I'm not even going to bother to close your tomb. I'm just going to yeah. leave it open. Yeah, I'm not going to be respectful. I'm just going to be like, yeah, fuck it. I'm gone. <laughs> As we push out the wall and say, fuck off. Well, Woo! there we go. Armor gets damaged over- Are you serious? Yeah, armor can break, but you just need to go to a blacksmith and hit the repair option and it does it, so it's not even that- it's not even a big issue. Huh. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, Ezio, if you come out this way, why couldn't you just go in this way? It would save you so much problem time. Like, uh, literally, you could have opened that, gone in it backwards, and got to the tomb straight away instead of having to go through all that mess. <laughs> Essentially. It's like, Mr. Foxman, you have some answers to give. Now. You're interested to hear what I say, is it not? <laughs> Actually, I couldn't give a fuck what you say now. I want to know why I couldn't go in backwards. I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. 
They begin course. tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Religion! With the rest of Firenze. Yeah, because that was a big part of history, folks. It's also a chance it also to led to the death, crowd. to the unnecessary Close. deaths of many Stop people. Madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi, it will not come to that. Okay, so we now we are going to try and kill this I Medici person, right. whoever they are. Didn't we hear about them at some point? Yeah. Well, the Volpe moves fast. <laughs> I was like, um, what the fuck? Where did Karama go? Okay. So we need to go do this thing and stop them from killing this important person for some reason. The minute you were real people, I should also point that out too. So sorry. I'm leaving. <sighs> Let's see. Let's climb on walls and be on our way! It's the only way to get around this city. Indeed, what's this? I want treasure. Yeah! That, that was rubbish treasure. Do better next time. <laughs> Ezio, come on. Thank you. Question, why did we have to do that? Uh, we didn't. Ezio was just being a douche, not listening to what I wanted. Oh. I was like, go this way. No, I'm going to jump here. <laughs> you sound like a bitchy five-year-old. <laughs> no. No, I'm going here and there's nothing you can do about it. I want ice cream. I'm doing what you say until you give me ice cream. And it's like, shut up. Ow. Uh, like so many other stupid little brat children, I swear. Yeah. I wish if if kids existed, like, you could skip the age of demands and not understanding right from wrong and when you should control yourself. But uh, that, that's kids for you. That's true. Well, actually, a lot of that's bad parenting. Yeah. Because they give in to whatever these kids want, and then the kids don't ever learn self-control. Like... The biggest pet peeve I have when I'm working is when these little brats are coming up through the line demanding to have whatever it is that their parents picked up for them immediately. And then they tell me, don't put it in a bag. You will not put it in a bag. I put it in a bag if I damn well want to, you little shit. <laughs> I Look, look, I put it in a bag. What the fuck you gonna do about it? I, I like the idea of a little kid just actually saying to you, don't put it in a bag. And you're like, it's my job. Piss you. Yeah. <laughs> And it's essentially what I have to do, like, eight times out of the day, probably. I mean, even today when I go into work, it's probably going to happen. And I put it in the bag, and I had one little kid literally lose his mind because I put the thing in a bag. But I wanted And his parents gave it to him. I'm like, are you serious? You're enabling him. Stop it. Uh, don't you tell me how to raise my kid or whatever. His Her name is Crystal. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to think of like some bullshit name that they would that a stupid parent would give their kid. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's stop these conspirators as we do a time warp. Whee! Oh. Wow, it's like Ezio stood here all night waiting for the sun to rise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just on his shoulders, like in a few hours the sun will rise. But I'm going to stand perfectly still until it does. Yeah, Essie, you could just kill these guys now. That's a... Uh... Lorenzo and his wife. Oh my god, that bitch is ugly. She's like, eh, I married him because he's wretch. Lorenzo's <laughs> brother. Oh shit! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> there are no... Ah! Right. What the fuck? Ah! Uh... Okay, you know, if you're trying to do a murder and not be caught, don't do it in public. Ah! Ooh, what the fuck? I mean, shit, we don't even have to do anything. Damn! What the fuck's going on? See what the fuck? Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. Uh, oh, yeah, we're, we're not standing for this, okay? What's happening? I, what? I'm confused! 
Basically, the Patsy and all the Templar conspirators tried to kill the, the Medici people because they're essentially in control of Firenze right now. So okay. they're like, we're not having that, we're gonna kill you so then we can seize power because we're a bunch of douches. So Ezio wants to keep the Patsy from gaining control of Florence, so we have to keep this Medici douche alive? Pretty much. His brother's already copped it, but we're gonna keep this dude. Lorenzo de Medici was a real person. Okay, I doubt well, he, he was defending. His ass kicked, so we might want to get over there and help him. But De Pazzi is right here. I want to kill him. Okay, so kill De Pazzi, but we need to make sure that the person we're trying to protect stays alive. I also like how the Pazzi's just kind of staring at you. He's like, yeah, like, Who's this? wow, you're taking down all my guards. How is this possible when I'm not attacking you? This is like, nice sword. Should I use this? I don't think so. <laughs> My men will want for nothing except for appropriate battle skills. Yeah, because none of them seem to have any. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow, oh. okay. He just needs you in the crotch. Well, he's going to get stabbed soon enough. Yeah. That's I told you. you get. Yeah, you as well. And you. Oh, you! You! Yeah, you! Piss off! All right, you're gone. Ah, nice. You're gone. Two you're... against one, bitch. <laughs> oh, damn! That hurt. Oh, oh! <laughs> we are going to end you. Death to the Pazzi! Yeah, I already need your little prepubescent girl of a son in already. <laughs> I see you wish to join him! Ha! Ah, look at him run away like a little puss. Why are we gonna let him do this? Okay, we still got people attacking us. That's nice. Go oh, goody! Dude, your leader pissed off, so piss off with him! Don't you hurt the guy, because he can't apparently defend himself even though, even though he's got a sword. You saved my life. Not it's by not much. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah. Not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust there. Can you... Ah. I throw up blood. And then I stand up like nothing's wrong. Okay. Like, I'm perfectly fine. I'm losing a lot of blood. Alright, now he limps. Hang on, signore. Moving. <laughs> I want to bribe you. Whatever. Follow me! Now hurry up! Don't be like one of those terrible escort people who just doesn't move when I want them to. The whole city is in peril! Alright, let's go. I just say! Shut up, dude! Um, I don't know which way to go. Um, yeah, not this dude. <laughs> Can you tell us which way you live? Yeah. You're just making me escort you and I don't know where your house is. Like, that's kind of inconsiderate, man. That's a little bit. Right, uh, this way. Because yeah, I see guards here. Woo! Oh, San Lorenzo has a nice place as well. Ah, crap! <laughs> Never mind. Oh, really? You cheap little fuck! Why does this guy does he not know how to block or does he just let people hit him? I think he's just letting people smack him in the face. Oh no, they're hurting me! Can someone help? You are holding a weapon! Like what should I do? I have this long pointy thing that I could shove in their face and kill them. Should I use it? Ah fuck it. Alright, yeah. Why am I targeting that guy? Get off the target, okay, let's go. Get your house before you start whinging at me again. Let's go. Good. Yes, please, let me home. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Aprite la porta! What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. Open the fucking door! Scream your password over the fucking door. Oh, come in quickly, even though we were asking you for a password earlier. Wait. Jesus. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. 
My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Yeah, you remember the guy with the, the fat man hung? We killed him too! Yeah, yeah fat man was a good one. Loyalty. Oh yes. I like how like, we just look back on it fondly. Oh yeah, the fat guy, he was great. No, if they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my survival would mean nothing. I have to... Oh, stay you still! Nothing, stupid! Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. Thank no you. Shit. See, we planned on it. Yeah, now I have permission to do it. That's the best. Nice. Wait, so does that mean that the regular town guards will leave us alone because the main guy in charge said that we could kill this fucker? Hopefully soon, and we'll find out in the next episode where we kill the Patsy! Yeah! Ooh.